Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Oh, Kitty, kindly take a bath. Hmm, good question, little Kitty. Hey, friends, I know, just like little Kitty, we do find it boring to take a cold or hot shower every day. But have you ever wondered what will happen if we stop bathing once for all? So, in today's episode, let us come clean and find the answer to this stinky winky question. What if we stop bathing? Zoom in! Bathing is a process of washing your body with warm or cold soapy water to maintain personal hygiene in today's society and protect our body from disease causing microbes and other nuisances like a lice infestation. In general, it is okay to skip a shower once in a while if you don't feel like taking one or due to other health conditions. But missing a bath every day for a longer period could negatively affect your personal and social life. Yes, let us see how. Once you stop bathing, the first thing you'll develop is a bad body odor. Yes. While sweat itself has no smell, but it can mix with the germies on your skin and start to cause a foul smell. Though, after a point of time, you will develop immunity to this stinky odor due to condition called olfactory fatigue, meaning you won't notice any bad smells from your own body after you have been subjected to smelling it for a long time. But unfortunately, those around you won't be so lucky and start to avoid you with the lamest excuses they can come up with. And after some time, you'll start scratching your skin as bacteria and dirt start working together to cause the itching sensation. Extensive scratching can also worsen any existing skin condition and break the skin cells leading to infection. Yes, these germs and bacteria will enter your system through your hands, nose or mouth, giving you the common cold or even Hepatitis A. Simultaneously, to prevent further damage, the skin will begin producing extra layers of keratin and the outer layer of your skin will start becoming so hard and thick that you might develop a skin condition called hyperkeratosis. And if this still isn't enough to convince you into taking a bath, then how about acne? Yes, the extra naughty germies will cause inflammation of follicles and excessive sebum production on your skin, resulting in pimples, blackheads and severe skin irritation. Not only that, even your hair will turn greasy, smelly and full of dandruff and will become a comfy zone for lice to stay. And as you continue to avoid water, slowly, nearly 4 kilos of dead skin will accumulate all over your body. You might also start to notice brown patches on your skin due to a condition called dermatitis neglecta which literally means neglecting the skin, making you look like a walking zombie as people run away from you. So, make sure that you do not avoid bathing for a long time, my friends. And at the same time, also make sure that you do not waste too much water. Trivia time! Did you know? The earliest recorded evidence of the production of soap-like materials 
dates back to around 2800 BC in ancient Babylon. Also, the English word shampoo originated in India about 300 years ago and at first involved a head massage with some fragrant oil. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.